Hello there and welcome back to my channel. So today I have an extremely exciting new video. It's exciting for me anyway. It may not be for you, but I'm excited. So we're actually going to be trying out two new releases from You Can Be. You, if you've watched my channel for a while, you will know that I love You Can Be. I feel like I need a t-shirt that says, if you've watched my channel for a while, dot, 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 you know. Like, Amwin thinks you know everything about her and nobody, nobody cares. Yes, so, you can be very kindly sent me these two products to try. As far as I'm aware, at this point, these products have not been released yet. And, um, yeah, I don't know how much they cost. If I do find out how much they cost, I will update the pricing in the description of this video. So... Usually when I'm trying out products, I like to be able to kind of say, oh yeah, do I think the product is worth this price? But I can't really do that because I don't know the price, so we're just not even going to go there today. But the products I have to try today are their brand new set of makeup brushes. This is a 12-piece set. I've not even opened it yet, but it's from the back. Like, they have not opened it, I've not looked at it. So from the back of the... Uh, box it looks like we have four large face brushes and then we have eight kind of smaller kind of eye detail brushes and they all have i know i'm not prepared if i was prepared i would have them all out they'd be neat tidy they are so beautiful like i'm such a fan of color and these are color personified let's face it i just love it i love the kind of two toned color that we have going on um, not only the handles two different colors but the actual bristles are two different colors so i absolutely i love that just going off like how these feel i mean they feel like really good quality but who knows until we've actually tried them out i am going to be using as many of these brushes as possible today because i have an epic like monster of a palette to try today it's not just eyeshadow it's not contour it's not just blush it's everything like it's everything that you could ever want in a palette so this is she she's called the makeup carry-on case and i believe that she was kind of designed with a uh, travel in mind so this is meant to be like a one-stop shop for everything that you may need when you go shopping instead of having to pack like three different palettes loads of lipsticks uh different contours bronzers blushes you just get everything in the one like travel case which i think is a really nifty idea i don't really travel a lot but if i did i think that having everything in the same place would definitely be something that I would get wet for. As you can see she is epic. Not only do we have this humongous kind of eyeshadow palette that features every single shade under the sun, we've got uh, bright colours, we've got kind of deep and smoky and intense, we have the metallics, we've got the pressed glitter, we've got what looks like a foiled, um, we've got duochrome, I mean it's just like everything in one kind of uh, handy palette and then down here we have I think there are 12 kind of um, lipsticks that are like depotted to a pan um, not my usual like favorite way to have lipsticks but I, you know I suppose when you're looking at this like the bigger picture of like a, all in one kind of like makeup carry case then yeah that's nice this is a strange one though you know for a lipstick shade it's like an olive green like I don't know will I carry that off could anyone carry that off well I'm sure like uh Megan Fox could definitely carry it off but we also have an eyeshadow primer and we have some makeup brushes over on this side it looks to me uh, like they're mainly kind of like you know like um tools as opposed to like uh, blending brushes they're just like the tools um very very handy we have three different highlighters we've got three different blushes we have two contour shades and then oh these ones must be eyebrow eyebrow powders so yeah i mean my first thoughts are i think it's a great great idea i think it would appeal to a lot of people the only thing going against it is that you know i suppose like it's great to have everything in one kind of place but do you really need like these 10 different or 12? Do you, do you need 12 different lipstick shades? 
I mean, I do actually, probably, yes. I think I do need 12 to fill lipstick shades, but it's sheer size, you know what I mean? That's gonna take up quite a large proportion of anyone's suitcase. But do you know what? I'm just, I wanna be positive here because I wanna kind of applaud you can be for doing something a little bit different. So without further ado, we are gonna get stuck in. As I said, I'm gonna be using their makeup brushes today, as many as I possibly can. And then we're just gonna be dipping in. We're gonna be doing the lipstick from the palette, the eyeshadow, blush, contour, eyebrow, Brows. Okay, so to begin, we're going to go in with the eyeshadow. Oh my gosh, I'm definitely getting older. My brain, it just stops working at times. It's just like, no. Okay, so this is the eyeshadow primer. Uh, it's just called the uh, Get Ready Eyeshadow Primer. And this is a hashtag light. I don't know if it, the different shades of this, I can't imagine there would be, but um, it just says on the back that it's lightweight, non-sticky, and it just helps to enhance the effect of the eye makeup and prolong retention time, which is a very serious way of saying it will hopefully um make your eyeshadows last a lot longer than maybe they would without it oh my gosh how do we open this also this uh primer is cruelty free i'm sure that this is actually a product that you can buy just you know as a standalone product so you know if you did just want to buy the primer you wouldn't have to buy the whole set okay so it does feel a little bit kind of emollient i would say I can't really tell you if it's provided any kind of coverage, um, unfortunately, because I, I have already gone in and applied foundation across my eyelids. So, I, like, you know, I've already kind of got coverage there, but I do think that it does contain a bit of kind of pigment in. So I definitely think that it could kind of camouflage any kind of little like veins or any any discolorations or anything that you want to be camouflaged. It doesn't really feel like too Sticky. It kind of has more of like, just like a, a little bit of like a, an oily kind of feel to it. I was going to do the eyebrows first, but seeing as we've just applied the eye primer, it seems like it'd be quite kind of rude not to go in with eyeshadow now. It's kind of like putting like sexy lingerie on and then not getting down and dirty, you know, with your other half. So I think today I really want to go for like a warm kind of look. So I think I'm going to begin just with like a neutrally kind of brown. And I think I am going to go with this one up here. Oh, okay. So we've got the, the eye shadow brushes that we could potentially use. So I, like, I'm definitely going to be using one. I think I'm going to go in with this one here uh, because it's kind of like an angled like contour brush. For your eye so oh by the way my lids are feeling really sticky now you know before i was saying oh kind of feel like a moly and not really sticky oh they feel sticky now i'm just going to start off in the middle i'm just going to kind of pack this shadow on wow okay so the primer is very like very sticky like so sticky it's almost like the primer heard me say it wasn't sticky and it said hey i'll show you bitch I'll show you what sticky is. It feels like as if I just put pretty stick on my lid. But I'm sure like like already this one does not feel so sticky because I put the eyeshadow on. By the way, I really like the brush. Very soft and flexible. I like it. Um, okay, so I'm quickly just going to pop some of uh, this shadow over on the other lid because I'm not really liking the stickiness if I'm being honest. So I'm just kind of blending this in and around my crease and I'm using small circular motions. Okay, so I actually really, really like the, the shade of this shadow. Like at first I thought it may be a little bit like under pigmented and a bit underwhelming, but no, she's shown me who's boss. Like I really, really do like that. I'm using a new technique at the moment, which is, you know, when I'm blending, I'm trying to take the shadow like up and out up and out because I used to like blend it downwards but I just kind of suddenly realized I'm when you're almost 40 now you can't be blending downwards you've got to go up and out to make it look like you're 25 again I really like this brush though I think it's fantastic and I feel very sensational using it do you know what I feel like this shade could also maybe be used as a contour if you've got fair skin because it's quite cool toned. Uh, I think it would I think it would work really, really nicely as a contour. So I'm actually gonna take that 
shade under the lower lash line as well. This is probably too big of a brush to do the um, lower lash line, but I started, so I will finish, you know. That's what she said, yes, she did. Okay, so I am next gonna go in with this orange and green brush, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this just to blend out that shadow that I've applied, just because I really like the other brush, but I feel like it's more of a kind of specific area brush, and I just need something a little bit fluffier and just a little bit like bigger, just to really blend out this shadow. And this one is doing just that. Okay, so I really, really like that first shadow that I've applied. Is she subtle? Yes, but that's nothing wrong with a subtle lady. I mean, really. Right, so guys, next we are going to go in with, um, I think I'm going to go in with this chocolatey kind of brown. Um, and I'm just going to be focusing that, uh, like, actually in my crease. And then also in the outer V as well. And I may even pop a little bit on the lower lash line. If I feel like it, I may not, but we'll see. To apply this, I'm going to go in with this orange and yellow fella. I just think it's kind of like tapered. So I think it will just be really like good at getting that control just to keep the shadow in the actual kind of crease. You know what? I feel like this eye primer is really, really good because everything that I'm applying to my lid is sticking in place which is great, but like, I feel like it does mean that you do have to like put a little bit of elbow grease into like blending. By the way, I absolutely, oh, I love this. I love this shadow. It's so gorgeous. Like, I was thinking, oh, it's just like a brown, but no, she almost looks a little bit plummy. Oh, she's delightful. Again, Amwin, don't forget, you're not 21 anymore. You need to go out, blend out, blend out. Don't be, you know, going down. You can't get away with that anymore, girlfriend. Again, I'm just making sure that I really, you know, blend out this shadow. Take it out, girlfriend, take it out. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh. Okay, so this is what the shadow looks like. I would just have to say one thing, and it's a kind of a slight criticism of the primer. I feel like the primer is, it's kind of like a criticism, but a compliment at the same time. But I feel like the primer is a little bit too good for its own sake. Like, do I think that these eyeshadows are going to stay in place forever? Yes. But... Was it the easiest to blend? No, and it's not because I don't think the shadows were good because I actually think the shadows were good. I think the base was a bit like, uh, it was a bit resistant, if that makes sense. I felt like I was getting a bit of resistance and it's not really blended. Can you see as much as I would really have hoped for? So I'm kind of going to try and correct that. I think I'm actually going to go in with this shade and I know a lot of you probably think I'm going to but why? Because, like, A, you said you are going to do, like, a warm look. but And then B, but why, you know? And the reason why is I feel like I could... Oh, no, I think you're right, actually. No, I'm going to take take your advice. I think you're right. That would just be a step too far. I just feel like I need something to counteract this. Um, I think I'm going to go with this this mulberry kind of tone. Like a... a, 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 a default... Default, restart the program, default. Anyway, uh, what is it? It's like a wine, like red wine. If that's not what I'm thinking of. It's like a, oh gosh, it's right there at the tip of my tongue, but I can't think of the shade, but it's cranberry, like a deep cranberry. Still not what I'm thinking of, but it will come to me and I will tell you when it comes to me, okay? We're gonna go in again with our angled friend and I'm just gonna dip in and then we're gonna apply this and my aims are that I'm probably, I am gonna take it down a bit low because I don't think I can cope very well with not having something going on down here. So I'm afraid guys, 
all of a sudden I'm not going to look 21 again. Oh my gosh, I love this shade. <gasps> oh, it's delicious. Look at that. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Look at that, guys. Oh. Again, it doesn't really look exactly how I thought it was going to look, but it's better. It's so much better. Like, I thought it was going to be more red, but it's not. It's more purpley, kind of plummy. It's so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I absolutely love it. Look at that. It makes me think of vampires. It really does. Romantic vampires. This brush as well is something else. So good. Because I did like the other shade, I liked it a lot, but I love this one. I don't know, I feel like I'm on this kind of up and down journey with the primer. Now I'm thinking the primer is great again. And I don't know if it's just because of my new technique, you know, trying to take it out as opposed to down. And now that I'm back to taking it down, I'm preferring like everything. So I take back what I said about the primer. I think she's very good. She's great. The best primer I've ever met. Sorry, Honey's is cooking downstairs. Don't know what he's doing. Whether he's trying to create his own rock and roll ba brand, brand, <laughs> brand, band, band. Anyway, he's creating some mess and noise downstairs, defo. I'm just gonna take some of this beautiful, beautiful shade, like just on the outer, outer part of my lower lash line. Do you know what, this kind of shade, it's so complimentary to my eye colour. It just brings out the green of my hazel eyes. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Right, I'm just taking this down a bit. Can't get enough of this. This shade, so good. By the way, the shadows so far, I'm deeply impressed with. Like the brushes, the shadows, everything's going well so far. I'm just going to do a tiny bit more blending up here. And then we're going to go in with a a metallic on the crease okay we're doing it now i'm ready okay great now that i've just gone in and changed everything with this most gorgeous uh matte i feel like you know i i need to change what i was going to put on the lid and i'm actually thinking that i'm going to go in with oh it's a really tough one like this is really nice like i'm sorry i've not swatched them all but it would have taken me a lifetime that's gorgeous. I love that. But I also, I love this kind of, that, that kind of grey, but would that work? And no, I don't think so. Should I go in with this, like, purpley? Sorry, I know you can't really see anything, but this, it's like a duochrome purpley pink with blue micro glitters. Would that be cool? I'm going in with that, yes. Okay, so I'm just going to take this little fella of which I cannot remember the name, but it's like flat, quite flat. So I'm just going to dip into the gorgeous kind of dual chrome and I'm just going to apply. Oh, so gorgeous. Can you see? Oh, this is working out very well indeed, like very well. So it's basically like a dual chrome, like pink, purple, and then it has these beautiful kind of blue like micro glitters it's absolutely stunning i'm so impressed with this because honestly i was kind of a bit worried because it's such a lot of eyeshadows and i was thinking it's going to be like quantity over quality which often is the case but no you can be I have batted this out of the park again absolutely killed it with this because the quality is as good as i've ever had from you can be and i've had good good stuff from what you can be you know this is just uh, amazing like amazing 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 quality amazing quality and i don't know how much this whole kind of carry case scenario is going to cost but Oh, so far, I'm so impressed. I mean, you never know, maybe the rest of the shadows aren't as good, but I doubt it. Look at that. Oh, this is like one of my favourite eye looks I've created recently. Like, I really, really, I love it. Okay, so this is the final eye look. I absolutely, I love it. I love it. 
everything about it. I went in and I applied some mascara and next we're going to move on to the brows. So in the kit we have, oh wrong side, oh my gosh. So we have three different um, brow powders. We've got a kind of light kind of warm shade we've got a medium kind of cool tone shade and then we have a much uh, kind of deeper kind of cool tone like dark brown i am going to be going in with the lighter shade and um i'm going to be using the eyebrow brush from the set to apply it so i don't usually use like a, a powder for my brows i use either just like a, a fiber filler like brow mascara or a promenade so this is kind of new to me honestly but you know what we're gonna do it oh i forgot to spoolie my brows okay and they desperately need some spooling oh no did you see that that rookie error oh what a dick move that was and you know because i've got that primer on that's like super glue i can't i can't get this off let's try not to do the same thing over on this side okay right i got through that without any disasters okay so i've got a bit of the powder on the brush oh that's annoying me that i could just see that black mark Anyway, right, so, oh, do you know what, this is good. This is really good, it's so easy. I don't know why, I always thought that a powder would be more difficult to use, but this is like so, so easy. Oh, do you know what, I don't know if it's powder, it might not be a powder, it might have a little bit of like, you know, like a promenade situation going on, I don't know, I'm a bit confused. I really like the shade of it, although it is very warm toned and actually it does look kind of darker on than it looks, you know, in the pan. Hmm. I like it, although it's very brown. I don't think the shade is working for me, but I like how easy it was to apply. I feel like I should have gone in with the, the second DP shade. So I'm going to just go in with like the second darkest one, like the medium, which is more cool toned. And I'm just going in with that. Okay, so that looks better. I like it. Still not perfect, I know, but better. But yeah, I feel like there's not really, I don't know, there's not really my perfect kind of brow shade here, but... That's fine, because, you know, brow products don't take up that much room in a bag. So I'd probably just, like, I'd bring my own anyway. But you know what? Like, so far, if the highlights and the kind of contour powders, if they're good, I would definitely, definitely bring this on holiday with me. Do you know what? Just this kind of medium shade on its own, I really, really love I just didn't love the lightest shade, you know? Oh my gosh, I feel like my brows look expensive. Okay, so next we're gonna go in with the contour. And I think it's quite an easy choice as to which one I will go in with. So I'm obviously gonna go in with this one. Yeah, but know, maybe I'll like the, the deeper one, but no, I'm gonna go in with the light up the two, because uh, I just feel like it would be right class of me not to. So I'm just gonna grab, um, I think I'm gonna go in with this brush because this brush, I don't really know what to do with this brush. Probably blush, I don't know. But we're going to go in with this kind of angled uh, contour brush, which feels so soft and looks fantastic. So I'm just going to go in with the lighter of the two powders. And I'm just going to put that in here. Mm, this brush feels so nice and soft. I don't know why. Why do I move my mouth like that to the side? I think it's because I can maybe see where I need to contour. I don't know. Either my arm is not working properly or I feel like the, the bristles on this brush are a bit too soft and a bit too flexible. I think I would like a little bit more like, you know, like, like rigidness. Okay, so do you know what? I really, really like that shade, but I'm actually going to go in with the darker shade, which could be like a really bad decision, but I'm just going to... Oh, it is a really bad decision, oh my gosh. So that is a lot deeper than the first shade I've put on. Right, I'm just gonna blend, blend that, blend it out. 
I mean, the shadow blends nicely. I mean, it definitely, you know, I don't have any issues with the blending. I do, I don't, don't think that's bad, honestly. I think it, yeah, I mean, yeah. All I would say, though, is if your skin is, like, much deeper than mine, um, you may not actually find a, a shade deep enough in this palette that would suit you because, um, you know, I've got very fair skin and this uh, kind of works for me. I don't know. Maybe I'll look back on this when I'm editing it and I'll be like, what was I thinking? Like, that definitely does not work for me. Not bad. I quite like it. I mean, yes, yes, yes. I just think that if you've got, like, deeper skin, this may not quite work. Just, oh my gosh, it just looks super dark, you know, when it first goes on. But then, which I think is testament to how nicely it blends in, then it does blend in, like, quite nicely. It does, like, almost give me a panic attack, though, honestly, when I see it looking so, so dark. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got my work cut out for me today, but this brush is okay, but I just want it to be more rigid. Like, this would be a really good, like, blush brush, I feel, but... Anyway, I like it. Okay, so contour, tick, 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 tick. Right, so next we're going to go in with the blush. We have three options to go with. We, oh no, sorry, yeah, we do. Yeah, we do have three options. We've got like this orangey blush, we've got the pink, and then we've got this kind of beautiful kind of, it looks quite sheeny, whereas the other two look matte. This one looks quite uh, kind of sheeny. This one is like a, um, like beige, like a pinky beige, and I think I'm gonna start off with that one today. I'm gonna to actually go in with this uh, brush today, which I know is a, is a powder kind of brush, but I feel like it would work as a blush brush, you know what I mean? And I feel like I've just used the blush brush to do my contour, so, you know, I'm just gonna carry on making mistakes in what brush I use. Oh, again, it's actually very pigmented, very pigmented, can you see? I love it. I love it. I thought I would have to like, you know, build this up, but no. And it's got the most beautiful kind of subtle, but very flattering like skin glow. Mmm. Okay. Do you know what? I'm actually going to go in with the pink shade as well. I'm just going to um, kind of pop that, you know, on the apples of my cheeks. Just to add another dimension. Oh, it's very pink. Oh, it's very pink indeed. And when put the blush brush down, we're like do it now because this is too much. This is I know too much. I can't stop. Do you ever find yourself like you know it's too much, but you just can't stop? I've just heard honey say when you sat down enjoying the best jacket potato you've ever had in your life, that's quite the claim on it. Who made you the god of jacket potatoes all of a sudden? I mean, ooh, pardon me, Gordon Ramsay. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. I say yes, 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 it blended out beautifully. It looks beautiful, it's pigmented. It reminds me of the NARS blushes, at which, you know, they're very pigmented, but also easy to blend. A really good quality is what I'm trying to say. So I really like those two blushes. I like how they work together. I like the glow so much that I don't want to go in with a highlight because I love what we've got going on. I'm a bit over highlight at the moment. I, in the same way that I was over liquid lipstick, can't be arsed with it, and I'm kind of becoming over highlight. I just think it's more flattering just to have like a subtly glowy face. But you know what? We are going to go in with a highlight because it would be rude not to. That's like someone who says, no, I'm not drinking anymore. Nope. I'm not drinking Sharon, don't try and make me. I'm not going to be peer pressured into this. And then Sharon says, oh, come on, just one sex on the beach cocktail. And you go, okay, just one, make it a large. So we've got three different highlighters. We've got a yellow gold, we've got like a champagne, and we've got a very light kind of pearly kind of white shade. I'm definitely going to be going in with the champagne one today. Uh, I'm not going to apply too much because... I, um, as I said, I'm loving what we've got going on now, but I feel like it would be rude of me not to try the highlight. Pop a little bit on my nose first. And a little bit up there. Oh, my lips look shit. Oh my gosh. Oh, disasters. I can't have my lips looking like that. Oh my gosh, no thank you, sir. Mm, don't you just hate it when that happens? You know when you've got like a lip product on? 
and you've had it on too long and you've been talking and it just goes all like skanky and weird. Hey, so I'm just gonna like pop a little bit there. A little bit there. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I take back everything I said about highlighters. I think it looks really good. Look at me just piling it on now. Oh, that's beautiful. It's not the most like glowy highlighter I've ever tried, but it looks really nice. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna pop a little bit just under the brow. Oh, I popped a lot under the brow, okay. Anyway, it looks really nice. So I do not regret my decision. Hmm. Highlight is a success as well. Okay, so guys, we've come to the final part of the carry case, which is the lip part. And I, do you know what? I was a little bit like, ooh, which one do I go for? But I think I'm going to go for this one here, which is a nude kind of brownie pink. So I don't know. Do I have a specific? Oh, I'm going to go in with this brush, which I don't know if this is the right brush to use on your lips, but I never use like, you know, deep hand lipsticks. I always use like lipsticks in a bullet or on a, you know, applicator. So this is kind of new to me. So please don't laugh at me if this is not the right type of brush to use. But hey, we're going to do it today, guys, because why not? So I've got a bit of the product on my brush. I mean, it's very close to my natural lip color, but I really like it. I really like it. I really like that shade. I want them to release it as a lipstick because, I mean, I can't really be carting this whole thing, you know, with me everywhere I go. So I really want you can be to actually release this in the lipstick form. It's really nice. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. It feels really nice on the lips. It's not a kind of silk finish. But it's not a matte finish, it's like somewhere in the middle. It's a little bit drying on the lips, but oh my gosh, I really like it. And what it lacks for in comfortability, it makes up for in how beautiful the shade is. I really love it. And I think that the kind of lip shades that they put in are actually probably like really all that anyone would need. Just in two minds, like are these meant to be like colour correctors or lipsticks because you know at first I was like oh my gosh who could carry off this kind of mint green and also I'm looking at this lavender and I'm thinking hmm so now I'm thinking are these meant to be like colour correctors maybe these four possibly but I don't really colour correct so I, I appreciate them putting them in but I probably wouldn't use them you know okay so guys that brings us to the end of this review I feel like I've tried everything that I could possibly try uh, I think the brushes not only do they look sensational but they performed brilliantly it just looks like a pride festival up in here they're just so gloriously gorgeous and you know I, I think it's all very well for them to look great but they need to perform great and they did so I would recommend these brushes oh my gosh and right so at first I like I have to say I, I was kind of thinking oh my gosh quantity over quality but I loved everything that I tried I think my favorites were definitely the eyeshadows and I mean the blush was great um the contour I mean no, I'm, I just think there needs to be more shades probably to be able to like suit a wider audience. So not really down too much with the contour, but the blush was great. The highlighter was lovely. Um, I even like the eyebrow uh, product and I don't normally use powder, powder eyebrow stuff, but I liked it. So I think it's like a whole... I really enjoyed it, everything. And it's going to be really interesting to actually find out how much will this be sold for. I would be happy paying like, I'd say like, you know, £25 for this because, and I'd say that that's probably liberal. Like, I, or is it conservative? Because that's a conservative estimate. Yeah, I think conservative, I don't know. But yeah, I would say £25 personally for me, I'd be happy to pay for it, but... I think that, you know, if if they were charging 30, then 
that would not be like the worst thing in the world. You know what I mean? Thank you to Cabby for sending me these new launches. I've had so much fun trying them out today and congratulations because I think they're wonderful. Um, I have the utmost respect and just a love for you can be i think they're an amazing makeup brand and i support them 100 percent if these products were not very good i would say they're not very good you know i would but luckily for everyone they're very good so i love them um but anyway guys i'm gonna have to go because i've got a bit of acid reflux i'm starting to feel sick so I'm going to have to go. And there's nothing to do with anything here. It's just that I've not eaten my lunch yet. So I'm like, uh, TMI. But I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching the video. And I hope to see you in the next one.